Yeah, I look, I'm just super stoked with, with the end result. Um, my best carving to date, I think. So, yeah, absolutely wrapped. Actually, I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, it was uh, a little stressed out for the first couple of days, but, uh, but I got her done on time, I guess. Well, last day was easy. Um, I had pretty much everything done. I just had to tidy up my sculpture, uh, make sure everything's uh, clean, and, and then get a coat of finish on it. Uh, feels great, though, to be done. It's a lot of work um, and a big achievement, really, for me. Um, <clears throat> with what I started with, I'm real happy with the outcome. The piece uh, is not as big and as nice as I would have liked to have had it, but it's a finished piece with a log that I really didn't think I was going to be able to work with. Oh well, we pulled it off. Pulled it off. Uh, got to a point of level of completion that I was happy with, and uh, I was just, yeah, I was just ecstatic to be done with it. <laughs> Everything worked perfectly. It couldn't have been better. I'm, I'm super stoked and happy that I did what I planned to do and that it turned out to be exactly what it should be. It's cool, man. Yeah. I'm really happy with it. I think it's the best piece I've ever done. and I, uh, I enjoyed doing it. It was stressful. It was fun. It was a whole new dynamic of you know, trying different things and pushing myself to do completely different uh, work. And it was a blast, man. I got to hang out with like some of the best guys in the world and the best volunteers. It was, the event's been amazing. I was <laughs> Jetwind. え、私はチェットウィンドに、あの、大会に7回今日今回で7回来てるんだけども、え、3 レッド。そして happy with the end product you know it, uh, it really turned out better and uh, more beautiful than anything I ever thought it was going to be so yeah totally happy I have no complaints I mean usually you abandon them but this one I actually felt I got to hang out with <laughs> Um, I think for the most part there may have been two things that I would have done different had I uh, had more, um, not necessarily more time, but more uh, maybe access to like, like maybe more modern tools or something like that. You know, these crazy ideas of something you'd like to do different, you know, and there was a, there was a couple of things that could have been better for sure, you know, of course, in, in, you know, even though I really liked it, you know, but I still had quite a few things I would have improved on but limited by tools and, and wood and time, you know, and, and trying to do as much as you can. I was, I was pretty happy with this piece for sure. We finished, which, here's the main thing, is I finished. I don't care what the results are or anything. Nobody can look at me now and say, hey, Tynan, uh, once again, you're not done. I got done, so I'm happy. We'd like to announce this year's uh, Carver's Choice Award, winning of $500 in a plaque, is uh, number 11, Chris Foltz.
state. So now I'd like to uh, call for the People's Choice Award. Um, the winner of that is um, number five, Hiramu Kurita. Third place winner this year is number three, Jeff Sandowski. Jeff will also be winning a chainsaw donated by Husqvarna. Second place winner this year is number 12, Robbie Bast. First place winner this year is number 11, Chris Foltz. Uh, winning first and Chetwin is an absolute incredible experience every time, um, especially uh, this time to win it. Uh, be my third time and uh, Karita's the only guy that's done that before and I love Karita to death man he's been a great uh, mentor and uh, somebody to watch um, she's such a classy guy and does incredible work and to be at that level with him personally is, a, is just an awesome uh, awesome experience it's time to time brother <laughs> let's get down to business Ready? do I look buff yet <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling down. I gotta do a laps. I gotta do laps first. To get warmed up. <laughs> Calisthenics. Okay. Well, you know, Andy, I got one important thing going down today. The one important thing I got is Sasquatch sitting over here. He thinks that he's gonna take me down with his little hair hanging off of everything. A little possum looking cute hanging off of the arm. I got Buddha over here. The main meal, brother, is beating Ken Braun, taking him down today. I can't stand for this nonsense, him standing up on top of his podium, looking down at the rest of us peons. I got myself a creature that can take that son of a beep down. I got the belly that goes with it. I got the little ornament that says champion. <laughs> I'm gonna take him down. I'm gonna give him a nice meal. I'm gonna get him some lasagna. We're gonna have him make it with a non-name brand ricotta, so it just tastes a little odd. Brother, I got fur. I got smooth belly. I got a big belly with fur. How are you gonna beat that? You got nothing on me. I got beads to go with my belly. <laughs> beads? I get beads. Well, give me my beads. What are you? Those are oh, nice beads. Those are some words. No, 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 no. I can't take what I'm going to do I, is you're you going down. I'm going to go down. You're going 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 down. You're going